All right, hey everybody, it's Kenshada Daniels. I'm coming once again uh, to you guys with another video. So please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button and please share my videos with others because you never know um, who it might help. And you know, so let's keep the sharing going. All right, so today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how to start a home care agency. And I know that's basic, but I just felt um, the need to get back to basic, especially for those out there who have been thinking about starting one, but they don't necessarily know, okay, what are the first steps, right? Which will be your basic steps and, you know, getting started with your home care agency, um, which will be a non-medical home care agency. All right. So let's get started. All right. So the first thing you want to do, and let me see how many I got. Okay, I'm gonna give you four. All right, so the first thing you want to do in starting your journey of owning a home care agency is you want to register your business with your state. So hopefully, if you've been thinking about it and you're at this point, you already have a name for your business, for your agency. So you will go and register your business name with the state that you're in, all right? So there's a few different um, filing types, okay? So most, most people use LLC, which is your limited liability company, right? So it gives you a level of protection um, in the event you, know, um, you need it. So if you're planning on hiring staff with your agency, then I would definitely suggest you go that route with the LLC. Now, if you are a healthcare worker, like a CNA, LPN, RN, or whatever, and you want to do the home care agency, but you only want it to be you, so you want to be like a solo provider, then you can register your business as a um, sole proprietor, meaning you can use the business name as your DBA, but you're the only one that's going to be working it, right? So not to say that you can't hire staff with a sole proprietor, but if you only want to do it yourself and make this your business, then um, then you may want to look into doing it and registering it as a sole proprietor. So with all my other videos, um, I do these videos at home. So if you hear any noise in the background, it's probably my children. Okay. <laughs> all right. So point number two, once you get your business registered, you want to go ahead and get your EIN number, AKA tax ID, right? It's free. You go online and you register to get your EIN number. This number you need to keep handy and put it with all of your business documents because you're going to be using this for uh, tax purposes. And also if you plan to take your agency to the next level, you know, with, um, uh, billing insurance companies. So you would have to become a Medicaid provider and then contract with the insurance companies. So you're definitely going to need your EIN number. All right. So the next step, number three would be getting your MPI number. Okay. This is a national, um, registry number that they give, um, home care agencies, um, and not just limited to home care agencies, but I'm going to focus on the uh, home care agencies. So you need this number when it comes to billing and submitting claims and getting contract with the insurance companies. Okay. This is your identifier. So when you're registering online for your MPI number, which is free, you're going to have to enter in a lot of information pertaining to your business and also put in particular codes that will fall under your um, business, your home care agency, right? Some of the services that you're going to be offering with your agency, okay? So that's very important, a very important um, piece to the puzzle of starting your home care agency, okay? So number four, all right? So once you get it registered, you get your EIN number, your MPI number, and number four is um, you're going to apply for your license, right? So you have to, some states um, require a license and there are other states who do not require you to have a license for home care services, right? So if your state is one of the ones that requires a license, you will then have to go to the state and apply for your home care license, right? So if you're in a state that doesn't require you to have a license, um, 
that's fine too. You just you just would uh, skip that process of getting the license, but you will also just have to make sure your business is registered in that state before you can start operating and performing services. So you go to your state, um, like here in Florida, our governing body is ACA, okay? So that's where we go to apply for our um, home care license. So we will go to ACA and then we will have to turn in um, certain documents. They will have to be reviewed and upon them being reviewed and approved, then you will be licensed. Um, so um, that's the process. Now there are here in Florida and you know, uh, pertain to other states too as well. Here in Florida, we have three tiers of um, home care agency ownership. So if you want to know what those three tiers are, please go check out my YouTube video um, called The Three Tiers of Home Care, all right, it's where I break it down for you. Now, in other states, they, they mostly will have two tiers, which will be your non-medical agency or your full-on home health agency, which you know can provide more services, um, more skilled services um, in the area. So if you are outside of Florida in another state that requires a license, you can become a non-medical home care agency, provide personal cares and ev pr pr provide personal care services and everything that falls under that. Okay. But if you are a full on home health agency, then that's where you get in with the skilled services like your nursing, your um, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and things like that. So each tier does require a level of, I would say, um, capital or investment to get started uh, with the agency. So you don't, if you have the funding and the capital to just go ahead and start out big, that's fine too. But if you if you don't necessarily, then you can start at the um, entry level and then work your way up. Uh, for those of you who don't necessarily have the upfront. Um, money uh, to start at a home health agency or, you know, to pro um, provide the skilled services. I always suggest starting out at the entry level. At least you get the experience, you get your feet work, wet and how to operate and how to, you know, manage staff and things like that. And once you get to the point where you are able to uh, get the funding, then you can go and move up the tiers. So, all right. So just a recap. I'm going to recap everything. Um, number one is you have to register your business in the state and make sure that you are registering and filing it correctly. Okay. So like I said before, typically people register as an LLC. You can do that as well. So number two was to get your EIN number. That is very important, especially when it comes to taxes. So, and um, also making sure that everything connected to your business it, it is um, under your business, okay? So you want to definitely make sure you have your EIN number, aka tax ID, um, to help keep everything organized, all right? Number three is your MPI number. You're going to need this for your home care agency, especially if you're going to jump into the world of getting um, becoming a Medicaid provider and getting contract with insurance companies. You're going to need this MPI number, as well to specifically identify your agency and the services that you will be providing. And the last thing, number four, was um, registering your uh, business to get licensed. So the licensing process, um, depending on your state, um, that's the uh, last process that you will need before getting started. So I know this video is short and sweet, but hopefully, Hopefully, the things that I've given you to um, get started will be helpful. Now, if you're not sure of doing this all alone and you need some help, you can always reach out to me. I am a consultant for home care agencies. I help several um, agencies. I have several people that come to me needing help in di different areas. Okay, so I help those who want to start up and I help those who've already got their license. I help them with the operational side of it and also the billing and insurance contracting side of it. So that's your Medicaid and health insurances. But if you want to get the help, I have a mentor me package where I will personally help you start up your business and give you the tools that you need to be successful. Okay. 
so you can connect with me. Um, I, I will leave my information in the comments. So just go to the comments and connect. All right. So I ask that each and every one of you watching this video that you will subscribe and also go to my website. When you sign up, um, you just have to enter in your email address. You will get a free download of a checklist. You know, what do you need to get connected with Medicaid? So it's a free checklist. Um, you know, go ahead and grab it because it'll help you if that's the direction you um, intend to go down the road. So you want to go ahead and have that handy. All right. So hopefully this video has helped you guys. And until we see each other again, until the next video, um, I hope and pray that you guys are successful and that um, everything that I'm bringing to you just helps you along your journey. All right. So thank you guys.